Today's session is how to promote your website from ICI World. We think it's one of the most important things that real estate people should be doing all year long. Some people are sitting in front of their um, websites and just kind of tweaking it and changing it and doing colors and doing all that stuff. That's not the real thing that really makes you the money. The real thing that makes you the money is actually promoting your website. Because you can have the most beautiful website in the world, but if you do not have any traffic going to your website, you're still not going to trigger any leads. So we're recommending that you literally think about promoting your website, and you're going to have this sound kind of strange, literally every day. <clears throat> and what we mean by every day is it really stands out with how you hand out your business cards. And so if you're talking to the owner of a restaurant and you're leaving and you just paid your bill, if you don't tell them about your website, that you have 200 restaurants on your website, feel free to visit at any time and then pay your bill and leave, you'll find that he'll take that and there's buyers and sellers on your restaurant and he will be interested to see those buyers and sellers. So we're going to show you how to have these restaurants on your website. We're going to show you how to have listings on your website that trigger leads to make sure that your website is well positioned, first of all. But then how you hand out your business card is very important. You must be telling people what is on your website and that they can go to your website, search for listings, residential, commercial, color photos, slideshow displays, exclusive listings, MLS. You've got to be telling them about what's on your website to people and that becomes a strategy. And the second thing is you must try to get every single one of your personal clients, prospects, customers, acquaintances, friends, family, get every one of those people to add a shortcut to your mobile website. Now every one of you should have a pad of paper and you should be taking notes. So the first thing on your notepad would be literally handing out your, I would get a double set of your uh, business cards next time, a thousand business cards or more, and really start handing out your business cards. But don't just tell them you have a website. <clears throat> Make sure that you tell them you have thousands of listings on your website that other brokers don't have, that you have exclusive listings and MLS, and that your website can send out listings automatically. So in other words, anybody that wants to, they can subscribe to receive listings from your website. Automatically, they can subscribe. It is you that has to point it out, nobody else. And then you should make it a goal. And if you want to put down the word goal in capital letters on your pad of paper, is to get every single person in your, we call it a sphere of influence. Sphere of influence. You should be writing this down. Otherwise, you're going to forget what we're talking about. And that sphere of influence, you should get them all to add the shortcut to your website. That's what it's called. Add a shortcut on their phone, on their mobile phone, to your website. Now, it becomes incumbent upon each and every one of you to show them how to do that. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you can Google it in Google and even on YouTube. Just say if the person has a Samsung S5, you go to Samsung S5 in Google, how to add URL to your home screen. That's the instruction. How to add URL to home screen. And if they have an iPhone 6, you Google iPhone 6, how to add a URL to home screen. All right, so you must learn how to do that. This becomes a strategy, and people, the race is on. And if you know what race I'm talking about when it comes to the websites, I'm going to show you right now for some research that you can do after today's. By the way, today's session is a full day, all crammed into less than 90 minutes. It's really a full day session. So I'm going to be giving you links that you can go to. You go to ICIWorld.com. 
you click on events and blog and you click on blog just write it down and you're going to see something that comes up that says the race is on there it is there the race is on and it's going to be and it's going to let you know that you better get all of your customers everybody in your sphere of influence to get your mobile website onto their phone as a shortcut before the other brokers in the industry do it. I'm letting you know that everyone listening to this has a major advantage because nobody's doing it. Nobody's doing it yet. You're on the cutting edge of technology, people. Nobody's thought of doing it yet. I'm letting you know that can you imagine if you have, and we got some people with a database from 300 to 2,000 people, if every one of those people in your sphere of influence has your mobile website, on their phone, anytime they search for real estate, they click on it, they can search the MLS, they can search exclusives. Bingo, as soon as they see something they want to go see, they give you a call. 2,000 people with your website on it, any one of those 2,000 people that want to search for real estate, if they can go to your website, call you up and say, I want to go see this property tonight at 7 o'clock, you tell me if that isn't fantastic. So those are some strategies now at the very beginning of the session that we're talking about and I've given you some resources that you can follow up on your own time. Now for people that are not, uh, have never attended one of our sessions, um, I'm going to suggest again that you go to ICIWorld.com slash and the word social if you wish. Mark that down and you should subscribe because we have these tips and tricks coming out every single week. We have them coming out on in fact, I'll show it to you right now. And this is a long-term strategy to kind of keep everything going for you, to keep it all going. So if I was to come down to four members here, and I'm going to suggest everyone that listens to this is either a, you can be a free member on I Say World, so you can actually click on four members and people can be a free member, but you wouldn't be able to advertise in database one. You would not have access to the contact information in database two. But just about everything else you can kind of do, but you would miss this very, very special links set up in a way that you absolutely get calls. So this, between those three things, you can actually come here and do searching and do all kinds of things. But when you come here, click on this word social, and when you click on it, it gives you an option to click, and then up comes all of this information. Now, we put tips and tricks and ideas. We record things and put them onto YouTube so you can go to the YouTube channel afterwards and follow up on it over the next year. We put things on LinkedIn and we, we put things on Twitter and Facebook from time to time. We also have a special newspaper. Uh, by the way, we have all these special apps you can put on your phone and you can also put the mobile site on your phone as a link as well. And you should do that. And a lot of this information I'm sharing with you now is all on the links that are in the mobile site and in the app, in the apps. What's happening are all the events that are coming up and there's all kinds of good events coming up every single month. You should click on it when you have a chance and you should get a chance, you should go through the blog as well. And that will start to keep you in touch after today's session when things, you forget things and then you get so busy that it'll help refresh you that you should be promoting your website on a regular basis. And how have we learned all this? Well, we have attended World Search Engine Optimization Conventions where we've spent $4,000 attending. So today, we're literally saving you $4,000 from having to attend a World Search Engine Convention because at that convention was the Microsoft Networks, the Yahoo's, the Google's, uh, Vice President of Google Corporation. All of these people were at this convention. There was a thousand people in this large room. Almost all of the people were these what they call geeks and people that really are nerds on the computer. And there was two real estate people in the whole convention. And one of them was myself from Toronto and one of them was a gentleman from California. And we were there to try to learn because if I can help learn all this stuff for myself, then I'm able to maybe teach it to you. And that's the thinking. If we have a 1,000 members and we teach all our licensed real estate broker and salesperson members of ICI World, we teach them all this stuff. It's literally like a $4,000 saving. 
of having to go down there and do it yourself. And we're going to, one of the biggest things that we learned down there was what I call the big seven. You should write that down now on your pad of paper. I call it the big seven. And when you write down the word big seven, list the numbers underneath each other after that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. List them all in a row, one after each other. And this is what we call the big seven. And really, it costs $4,000 to learn some of this stuff, okay? But a lot of the people, when I got back and shared them with that stuff, they said, and people that have been in the business for many, many years say, oh, I never knew about that, I never knew about that. So you're going to learn about that today as well. And also, just to let you know, as we go through this webinar, there's, there's parts in this webinar later on where we're going to share with you how you can have $75. It's almost as if we're giving you $75 of your first free advertising campaign. And you're going to see how you can get $75 free. So by attending this campaign for 90 minutes, you're actually going to pick up $75 worth of free advertising. And I'll show you that as we go along. So you're already saving $4,000 plus another $75 towards your first advertising campaign. And so, yes, we've learned a lot. And one of the essence of the World Search Engine Conventions was to make your websites relevant. <clears throat> Very important to make your websites relevant. The keywords that people are searching, the communities that you live in, putting those on there. So if you're in Richmond Hill, you want to get those names, Richmond Hill, Vaughn, Thornhill, those kinds of names, Mississauga, Toronto, wherever you're located. This works, by the way, for California, Florida, Vancouver, Montreal, Calgary, Collingwood. It doesn't matter where you are, Mississauga, Hamilton. You should have those names on your page so that if someone searches your community and the word real estate, that your website has a chance to come up in what we call an organic fashion. We know that an organic fashion is hard to do for people in the big cities like New York and uh, Los Angeles and Toronto. Uh, it's hard to come up at the very top, but there is a way that you can be to the top within 48 hours. But I'm going to give everyone sort of a warning. If you spend money getting to the top of the search engine within 48 hours, what good is it? If the people go to your website, they see an address, and then it's possible they might drive by the address first of a property that's on your website, and they see the other broker's sign on the front of the property, and is it possible they might be calling that other broker first before even calling you, and here you are the one that spent all this money to get to the top of the search engine with pay-per-click, for instance, and you're not getting any leads. So what we're going to suggest is measurement. If you write that word, I call it measurement. You must measure whether you are getting the calls. And I don't care what any company tells you, Yahoo, Google, or anyone. The bottom line is, are we doing deals? Are we as brokers and real estate salespeople of the world? They can tell us we're getting a million hits, a thousand hits, or what are 10,000, whatever they're telling us. And then we're getting all these hits and readership and everything else. But if we're not getting any calls, stop what you're doing. Just stop. Somehow there is a problem. The problem is that maybe listings are not being shown on your website or the listings are clickable on your website, which we're going to show you how you must have some of those. But then how to have listings that are not clickable where they have to call you, where you know for a fact that you've got listings in your area, and if people are going to your website and they're interested in real estate, they must and should be calling you. And if so if you're not getting any calls, something is wrong with your website. Now, the bottom line usually is somebody gets a website and just leaves it sticking there on the Internet. It's sort of like going into a shopping mall. You turn right at one of the little channels that comes in from the side of a shopping mall, and you, you sometimes there's a a shoe repair or something like that that's really off to the side that the mainstream people are not seeing. So we're going to show you how to get your stuff into the mainstream and not be sort of on a side street near a shopping mall. You're near all the action, but you're not getting any. 
And that's what's really important. You've got to learn how to take advantage of this stuff, and we're going to show you along the way. So for a realtor, they say realtors with technology are the ones that are going to survive and succeed in today's day and age. And I don't care if you don't even know how to turn on a computer. You can have one of these mobile websites. They are like billboards. They can work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 a year. But there's some little things that you must do to promote the website. And we can help you every step of the way because we do all of our assistance with GoToMeeting software. Just like the webinar you're listening to now, you can actually log in and it's one-on-one -on -one where you can see our screen and vice versa and we can actually help you do all of these things one-on-one. -on -one. The beautiful news is that once it's all set up, everything works automatically. Your website is updating automatically with new listings daily. Those things work automatically, but you have to be the one that promotes your website. And then today, there's 40 different ways to promote your website. We're going to cover, the, cover some of the most basic ones of all, but then it's going to be up to you to learn further because we're going to give you resources where you can learn more after today's session. This could easily be a one-week course at university or a technology school uh, to do this. So we're putting it all into 90 minutes because everybody's so busy and they can't take a week off. So you have to understand that this becomes an ongoing process for every single one of you to learn little bit by little bit throughout the year and make it a hobby because if you can get one person extra going to your website and they call you and you show a property and make $10,000, it was really worth it, all because you started right here and you've got resources to teach you going forward. <clears throat> a lot of this is cutting edge technology, so you might be hearing some things for the first time, and there's new things that are out there, and this is by no means the most comprehensive source to do here, but it's the most practical for licensed real estate brokers to start triggering leads from their website. And lest anyone wants to know, does this stuff work, I'm going to show you the testimonials that are online. Just to let you know, you should check these out on your own time. But if you go up here to testimonials, you're going to see testimonials of people doing deals through the internet, connecting with exclusive information that's not on real estate boards. All of these people are members of real estate boards, all of them here. But in addition to that, they have learned how to work exclusive information and there's a specific way to do that that will trigger leads for you and trigger leads for your website. So it's all part of lead generation when you think about it to learn how to do this. If you put your head in the sand and you don't do it, then you are missing opportunities to do business and you don't even know it. So all of these things are, are ways for you to kind of uh, get more traffic and leads to your website and that's what we're covering today. It isn't just one way. We're going to be covering SEO as well. We have a sample website coming up to do that. Now we also have a pledge here and a commitment to the industry and also a way to measure your success. And the pledge is when you click on pledge, any place on ICI World, you will learn it's 90 days that every single person that is a member on ICI World should be triggering leads every single 90 days or you must call us. We have a method by appointment uh, only, usually, and that is to go in and check what you're doing or not doing and we can give you some immediate recommendations and all of a sudden it can be like a light switch turning on that next thing you know you're starting to trigger leads. And the only way you're going to do that, it's think of a car and you have a flat tire. When you have a flat tire, you do not abandon the car. You get the tire fixed. The same thing is true here. If you're not triggering leads every 90 days using the internet in general, you should call ICI World, whether you're a member or not, and we will show you ways that you can trigger leads from not only your website, but from all the information that is surrounding you today in your area that you are not taking advantage of, and I challenge you as fun business professional challenge to every single licensed real estate broker and salesperson in the world that there is information in your area that you can be working and you can be working it through your website and through the industry to trigger leads as well. 
So the 90 day is the measurement tool. We've had some people that abandoned their membership. If you were a member and were guilty of that, we will actually give you a chance of a restart privilege. You call us and we'll talk to you about that restart privilege and uh, at a future time. But anybody that's been a member and has not made money and you gave up too early and you didn't follow through, didn't get some uh, advice, give us a call. We'll help. We're suggesting that you get excited. This is your business. If you have a website on the internet, this is your business on the internet. This is like, this is wonderful because all the people that you get to go to your website are going to end up calling you. So you should be promoting with a passion and get excited about it when you're handing out your business cards. Let them know that you've got more information, you've got listings that are on MLS, you've got exclusive listings that are on the marketplace that are not on MLS. And you've got keyword searching on your site, so if you're in residential and you're doing waterfront properties or, or beachfront or, or uh, just any cottages, anything at all, there's special keywords that are on your website that people can search things by keywords. And you should become accustomed to those keywords. And you can do that by going to search on ICI World into the residential section. And the other exciting thing is that of all the industries that are on the internet, it is real estate that provides the highest return on investment because one lead and you can make 10, 20, 50, a hundred thousand dollars and of course we have people making four, five and six and seven figure incomes now on returns on selling real estate on ICI World. Everybody tells me it's the lowest price service they can't believe it I'm keeping. I'm trying to keep it there for everyone so that everyone can get on this because the more people that get on it the cheaper it can stay. We've designed it to be the lowest overhead cost of any service on the internet, yet taking 100% of the full advantage of the internet with automatic emailing that goes out every single day to 20,000 people, links that go on thousands of other brokers' websites of your listing. All of these things, we're building these services in in the cheapest way possible to keep this price down uh, for the network, but then it's incumbent upon um, volume. The more people we can get on here, the better. And I'm finding that it's more difficult to grow without a major sales force. So we instituted a sponsorship program to see if that will work for this year, uh, growing the service. If it does not, we will have to hire more salespeople and have an overhead that will have to make the price of the network larger. So it's incumbent upon salespeople that they can keep the price down by simply joining and keeping the price down. So yes, one lead can make you a lot of money. And this is your business you should be sending everyone to your website, to no place else, just to your website. Because when they go there and see a listing, they can call you, you show the property, you write an offer, you do a deal, you make some money, and you continue to promote it, and you get them to promote it. You get them to have your website on their phone. When you do an open house, and people come to your open house this Sunday, next, next Sunday, and it doesn't matter when this video is shown, and I've got videos here from five and 10 years ago, that are still relevant today as it was five and 10 years ago. And all of our videos are relevant in the YouTube channel. And uh, you should be promoting your website to those people that come through the open house. If 10 people come to the open house, maybe five of them are working with other brokers, that's okay. But the other five are not, get them to put your website on their phone. If they don't want to do it, give them your card and say, add it later as a shortcut. Why? And then you show them on your phone. You help, you hold up your phone in front of them and you say, look, it. you can go in here and search property and, you, and then it brings up what price range you're looking for. What area, what type of property are you looking for? What area, what neighborhoods are you looking at? And your website can actually send out the listings, new listings that are being added to the network and automatically send it to those people from you. So if two weeks from now, after they attended one of your open houses, they happen to get an email from your website saying you subscribed and here's one of the listings that matches what you're looking for. They might call you at two o'clock in the afternoon and say, I'd like to go see this house tonight at seven. Can you set it up? And that's all because you promoted your website at one of your open houses. And I would have, you know, if you've got a busy open house, have two or three people um, filling in their requirements on an iPad 
and then they can fill in the requirements on an iPad. Everybody gets excited. You can get a line, a row of people filling in the requirements on an iPad. All those requirements are being fulfilled by your website automatically. Pardon me for getting excited and passionate about this, but can't you imagine if you had five people or ten people come through your open house, they all subscribe to receive brand new listings, and they're all from your website, they, they're going to be calling you when they see a property that matches the description of what they're looking for. This is exciting, people. Wouldn't you like somebody saying, listen, I've been on your website, and I was at your open house last month, and I just saw a property come through, and we'd like to go see it tonight at 7 o'clock. Can you set it up? People, the whole industry is missing this stuff, totally missing this stuff, and yet it's all there. All these tools are there for you. We will help teach all these tools when you join ICI World as well. Now, here's another, we've already talked about getting every one of your clients in your sphere of influence to go to your website as a shortcut. The benefit to you is that uh, they call you to make appointments. The benefit to them is they have more choices than your competition in the area. That's because you have exclusive opportunities that are not on other brokers' websites. That's important to know because everyone is going to be promoting their website. Now, I just heard a click. I want to make sure. Can somebody unmute themselves and make sure they can still hear me? Just anyone, just unmute yourself. Yes, I can hear you, Gary. Just let me know, please. Okay. Yes, Someone? I can oh, hear you. Okay. okay, thank you, Nadia. I just heard a click, and uh, sometimes I can be talking, and it's not even going through. So thank you very much, uh, people, for doing that. Thank you. Okay, so it should actually become a race now to get every one of your clients to do it before other brokers do it first. And you could even do that by email, develop this email campaign that goes out and say, add our mobile site to your phone so someday in the future if you're looking to buy or sell a property in the next one to ten years why not add a link to our mobile website to your phone so that you can search and you can help other people that might want to buy next month and they want to buy a condo or they want to buy investment property you can add it to your and then you become the most relevant person to all of those people when they want to deal in real estate so now we're going to check we're going to go through this checklist of your website. The website should be optimized, and we're going to be giving you some examples, but you must have list links to listings. If you don't have listings on your web, some people say, oh, I don't want listings out of my area. Well, if you've got 10 listings in your area, and that's it, and somebody doesn't like that, bingo, they're gone. Not people that are on ICI World. All the members on ICI World, we're suggesting you have all the listings in your state or province. Now, you can do that with the ICI World widgets. So if somebody's moving within your province or state, and if somebody's moving uh, you know, to Miami from Orlando or just any place at all, you can have those listings on your website. And when somebody calls you on a listing that is out of your geographic area, and they say, can you help me? You're going to say, yes, I can help you. I will have someone call you back. And then you can get a hold of that other broker in that other area and say, I have a lead for you. Is a 25% referral commission okay with you? So your website can generate leads for all of your state or province. doesn't matter where you are. And this includes all around the world now with the websites that we supply, Caribbean, Europe, just all over the world, actually, we have websites for you tailored. And we're going to customize and tailor it for you locally and add your local MLS to it and all that good stuff too. And then somebody calls you on a property out of your area, you're going to do referrals. Now we have one broker who's now done 15 referrals. That's 75 minutes of his time and he's actually made $45,000. Now you tell me if that isn't exciting. Now if you're not get doing this, these kinds of referrals, it's because you don't have the links on your website or you're not promoting your website, you have no traffic, it could be several things. So you see, that's why we call it a checklist. And you know, we can determine that very quickly by just looking at your website <laughs> right away. Because if you've got the listings, you've got them structured in a way that they can't click through on some of them and they have to call you, and then you're promoting your website with traffic, you're going to be getting the calls. It's inevitable. They have to call you. And next thing you know, you're doing referrals. And you're going to get all your prospects and clients to get other people that they talk to use their phone to let them search and let them pass your website on to them and so that they can search. Now the other nice exciting thing about what's happening is when people go to your website and they see all the wants, 
on your website, they're going to see how well plugged in you are to the marketplace, especially when you have a lot of friends who sometimes they say, geez, I love you, you're my friend, but you know, how competent and how plugged in are you in real estate? Sometimes they don't have enough faith in that. But when you start to show them the lists and lists of buyers for all different kinds of properties, they know that you're plugged into some major world networks. And people, you are all plugged into three major world networks if you're on ICI World. Three major world networks. The MLS, I'm calling a major world network. ICI World is a major world network. And then the website provider that we're supplying websites with, that's another major world network as well. That's three. And someday there could be more. It's the listings that are triggering the leads, and that's why we do that. The other thing is you want to make sure you, when you add a listing, you have at least five photos of your listings as well. Uh, because if you don't have one or two listings or five photos, the handshakes of other brokers, they're not agreeing to allow their listings to be on your website. So you have limited choices. So some people have 40 handshakes with other brokers that have allowed them to have listings on their website. And some people have up to eight, nine hundred and a thousand or more other brokers agreeing to allow their listings to be on your website. This is separate from the MLS. Now, and the reason is because we hide the addresses on these, so that means people have to call you. They have to call you. It's, a, it's one simple thing with ICI World. People join and we fix that. All of a sudden you can be getting calls. So the membership in ICI World, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you make money taking advantage of these things. If you don't, you wonder why it's not making as much money. That's part of the reasons why. Um, people can see addresses and maybe go direct. And we have ways to kind of fix that. Now, when you add your listings, more other brokers will agree to handshake with you and allow their listings to be on your website. If you don't have any, some brokers say, well, if you're not contributing to the network, why should we share our listings with you? But if you contribute, then they're more likely to say, this is good, you're contributing to the network, because the more listings for each and every one of you, the better it is for everyone. And you know something? It's great for your clients because it's greater exposure in the marketplace when your listing can be on a one to two and three thousand other brokers websites instantly and automatically rather than maybe just MLS. MLS is still the best, no question about it, but it's one major world network. But 90% of people, they're all on the internet searching all over the place in addition to MLS and they're finding things. So this is a way that you can be a major source of having both MLS on your website and other listings, especially exclusive listings as well that are not on real estate boards. And each of you should learn how to work exclusive information. And if you don't have 15 opportunities of ex I'm going to say shame on you because it's so easy to do. You just have to be aware of it and how to do it. And we've got our videos. You can go see them now. It's free. You can go check on the YouTube site and listen to our webinars that are going on there. It teaches you how to do that. And then if you're so inclined and want to actually put them on ICI World, we think it's a good idea because ICI World, in a certain sense, we like the ownership to remain in the hands of brokers going forward. So it becomes the literally an electronic equivalent of classified ads in a newspaper owned by brokers and controlled and is broker-centric to keep the price down and yet to do the ultimate in advertising on the internet, it becomes a win-win situation to have it become theoretically the biggest service in the world because it can be controlled by brokers and we're hoping someday that the, one of the major associations of some sort will pick it up and kind of run it on behalf of all brokers in the world would be the ideal way to kind of do it. Now the resource center is important to add to your website so you become a very major center of all the things that people should know when they move into your area. A lot of immigration is going on in the world today, and in the United States, there's people immigrating all the time. When they move to your community, do they know everything there is to know about your community? Do they even know how to get the hydro or the gas turned on, or what's the heating? Um, how about having a moving checklist, a comprehensive moving checklist? How about lawyers' fees? What are some samples, and what are lawyers' fees? Or how about land transfer tax in the case of uh, when you're buying in Toronto? Those kinds of things can be resources, and you can have 50 of those links on this one resource page. You can have a link to the city hall with all the events going on in your community every week throughout the summer. All of those things, community centers, shopping centers, churches, parks, schools, all of those can be links on your website that helps people learn what's going on in that community 
and your website becomes a knowledgeable source for everything that maybe a new homeowner would like or need to know on your website. And then you can do cross-reference links to mortgage brokers, lawyers, accountants, and other people, even where you buy your car, all that kind of stuff. And you can even sell advertising even on your website, on the front page. You can sell a $500 ad to a car dealership to sell cars on your website. Now, if they sell about three, four, five cars a year off your website, bingo, they're going to want to advertise next year too. You can all sell ads on your website. You can advertise on your website. These are things that are not brought up by a lot of other people on the internet, and we're sharing them with you to take advantage. Just a major office building is what you have on the internet, and you can advertise. Now, the other thing is you must have listings, and if you don't have listings on your website, why should anybody call you? It's like having a shoe store without any shoes. You got to have shoes in the shoe store to sell shoes, so you got to have listings on your website for people to find. Yes, you might only have one listing, but you know the people that only have the average broker in North America has less than five listings on a real estate board, and so you're almost, to a certain extent, always fighting to stay in business by getting new listings. Well, when you have listings from uh, the way we set up websites, you've got thousands of listings on your websites instantly. And you've got a list of buyers on your website instantly. So listings is very important so that when you do drive traffic to your website, they're more likely to be able to find something. And then you have a chance to do a deal. And without those listings, you're missing opportunities to do business. And this includes commercial and residential because they're just links, people. People say, I'm in residential, why do I need a commercial link? Well, people like to invest in duplexes, triplexes, and you can have investment apartment buildings on your website, maybe little businesses that they might want to own. All these things are just simply an option with a simple link. Next thing you know, somebody calls you on a $1 million apartment building in London, Ontario, or uh, you know, in Tampa Bay or someplace. And next thing you know, you can do a referral on that link. So each of you should be like a general practitioner doctor. Or somebody goes to a doctor and you've got a heart problem, he's going to refer you to a heart specialist, your nose and throat specialist. You are going to do the same. But give people the choices of all these things. I'm surprised how many people remove the links to commercial for the residential, remove residential from their commercial. All those people buying million-dollar plazas through ICI World, they also live in million-dollar homes. If somebody calls you on a $5 million home in a special part of town, would you like to do a referral? If you don't want to sell it because you're a commercial broker and you don't want to sell a $1, 2000000 $3 million home, just do a referral and make fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on doing a referral. So keep those links on your website. Now, you cannot hide certain addresses with certain types of services that are out there. But some services you can, and by having both, it gives the benefit to the public. So the public can see photos, they like to see photos, and they like to see addresses in some cases, there's no question about it. But then by having the exclusive listings, that becomes almost in demand. They say, geez, I wonder what this listing is like. It's a million dollar home, I'm looking in the million dollar price range, it's in Meadowville, it's in Meadowville. Every place that they're looking, they're going to be so inquire, they're going to want to inquire about that particular listing, and next thing you know, that's the triggers the lead even though they might not have called you earlier. So that's the concept of structuring to hide addresses. These are some of the examples of listings that you should have on your website. Why are we concentrating on this? Because so many, many people just go right into promoting a website, they spend 200 bucks a month for the next three months, and they don't get any leads, and there are very few, and they're not making money, and they wonder why. Because you did not have this information on your website in the first place. But if you could have this kind of information that you see on the screen right now, have all of this kind of information where people can search this stuff on your website, this is what you should be promoting to everybody in the world. You've got to let them know you've got all this kind of information on your website. And then they're more likely to check it out. If you're talking to a builder, they're always looking for land. You tell them you have 300 pieces of development land, infill sites, condo sites, residential building lots on your website. They're going to take your business card, get their assistant to go to your website and get that information, and then you start getting the calls. You can do referrals, or you can hop in the car like I did one day and go show a builder a property, and next thing you know, he bought it, and you get 10 listings back for sale for the next year, and you're working the resales off of all those new leads 
that's what we did in the first 20 years in the business. I've now been in the business 40 years. In the last 20, I've not sold anything because I'm dedicating this service and myself to this service to build it for each and every one of you. Please consider us as a personal marketing and information assistant to every single one of you, and we're enjoying helping you do that. We do this as our specialty, much like you might have a specialty in real estate. This is our specialty. And so the specialty comes in from these widgets. These are links to listings, haves, and wants. People say, what is a widget? Well, I'm about to show you. There are six links on an average from ICI World, but we can make widgets for anything. You specialize in waterfront, we can do it. If you specialize in something else, you can do it. If you're specializing in condos, you can have a button. Cottage is a button. If you, if you have a cottage, a condos button, maybe you can have a, an assignment column uh, specialty. These are the kinds of things that you can have on your website. Now, we're going to actually go to sample websites now. I'm going to see a few samples of thousands. I'm just going to pick out one right here for now. We have literally thousands of examples. We're recommending that everybody have these two kind of buttons on your website. And then if you want to see residential listings, you can search residential listings and you can design it to have listings come up in your particular area. And these listings are going to come up on your website like this. And the beautiful part about that is if they like something, they can click on it. And then the beautiful part about that is they can see these beautiful photos with your picture right beside it and they call you. Now what's really exciting is this. I'm actually going to make this the size of a mobile website. And I'm going to go down the page and if people want to see this on their phone, this is what they can see on their phone. This is why having your site as a mobile website on your customer's homepage, you should be showing your customers how they can have this on their phone and it's a simple link. It's not an app. An app is different. There are anywhere from 500 to 2,000 and more to design an app and then it costs anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks a month to maintain the app. This is different from an app. What you have is a mobile link to go on your phones. And if people will go to their mobile link, you can search everything. The app can search everything, but this mobile link can actually search everything as well. So this is pretty exciting to have this kind of stuff. And then they see your phone number there, and they can end up giving you a call. All because you have a website, which is as little as $16.50. If people don't have it, it's crazy not to have it. You can have more than one website. You can, they're like, it's like advertising. It's like billboards on the internet. You can link them together and the billboards can always work for you. Now, if you're not getting calls and you're not going to do anything about it, then why even have a website in the first place? But if you want to do something about the website to get traffic to it, then it's going to trigger calls. So that's one button there, the GTA, Greater Toronto Area, Greater Miami, Greater Vancouver, Greater Los Angeles, Greater Montreal, all of those things you can have here as a link on your website. And then we make up these other special links. And here's what's special about these links. If somebody clicks on a link here, they cannot click on these listing numbers. They can't do it. People, this is what's triggering leads. The industry doesn't even know about this yet. They're still just learning. They're so busy racing around. They've heard from ICI World, but they don't know the specifics of what's going on behind the scenes here because they're so overwhelmed with information. They're tuning all kinds of uh, advertising and everything else out in the marketplace. They don't know that they could have all of these Toronto listings on their website all in a way that triggers leads because people cannot click on any of these. That is the beauty of what's going on here. In other words, that people cannot click on these listings, so you are going to get the call. If this was not sort of like what we call a dead link, then people, they would get the other broker. If they got the other broker and call them, you don't make any money. But by when you are a, a paid member of ICI World, People cannot click on these numbers. Now, if your membership expires, people can click on these numbers. I'll repeat. If your membership expires on ICA World, you can still have these links on your website, but people can click on these numbers. Now, if for any reason you want to be a paid member and allow people to click on there, let us know. We think it's better to make sure that the leads are triggered to you 
and that ensure that you get the calls. And that way, you will actually get calls. People will say, I'm interested in a message, you know, 340432, can you help me? And then you can copy that and you can actually go to ICI World and you can click on, uh, excuse me, let me go here, and you can just click on search and just right on the first page you'll see here by message number, you put in the number and you can look up that listing and you are going to call this other broker here and you're going to say, you know, I have a lead for you, is a 25% referral commission okay with you? Now, if this is a $3 million property and it's, it could be a 4 or 5% commission, 150 grand, 120,000, 60,000 to the selling, 60,000 to the listing, uh, you would get 25% of the 60,000 to the selling, which is $15,000 for doing a five minute referral, people. That's what's happening out here on this stuff. If you don't have it, you have no chance, zero chance. Why don't buy, don't buy a lottery ticket? Join ICI World and make it happen. That's what you should be doing, okay? This is exactly what can happen on all of this stuff. Now, um, you also will have, I, I could actually follow up on this a little bit more here. Hold on. So that's for residential. And then, of course, you can also have, we install these special widgets. Some people have paid $700 to install the IDX link on their website. We install it in your membership. Again, it's another savings. We physically and and install it. We actually can have these websites up and running now within 60 minutes. Make an appointment and within one hour you can have a website up and running. It takes another 24 to 48 hours to get your domain name working. You will also have commercial as well. <clears throat> you can search all, there will be all kinds of other listings that will be advertised on here from other brokers. So if somebody's interested in any one of these kinds of properties, you can do a referral if you're a residential salesperson. And and uh, if you're commercial, you can hop in the car and go show it yourself. And then you'll have all kinds of commercial properties. And if you go on a listing appointment, you'll see wanted apartment buildings. Look at all the list of buyers. There's 300 buyers of apartment buildings here. Why not show this list to the owner of an apartment building so they can get excited that you are plugged in to what I call the bloodstream of commercial real estate um, on the internet. Uh, through ICI World, and you'll see, look at all the lists of buyers that are on the screen. Look at that. So this shows how well plugged in you are. So this is another way, and when people, when you start promoting your website and people know this stuff, they're going to be talking about your website to other people. And yes, you can even have FISBOs on your website. Look at that. And if I was to click on, just say, Brampton, for instance, I don't know, and then Look at all the FISBOs that are coming in here from the public. Now, you'll notice you cannot click on them. If you're a member, you can click on them. There is a way to get them when you're a member. So you can see that FISBOs can be working here. And you know what's exciting about this service is that really all the information in the marketplace from all the FISBOs should now be coming back into the hands of brokers as long as they work this service and work information through ICI World. It's the only service doing it that I know of. To this day, there's still nothing like it when it comes to information. Everybody should have MLF, but I'm suggesting everybody should also have the ICI World Services as well to be able to work information on in the marketplace. So those are some of the things that can be done with the commercial button and with the residential button. Let's continue on here. So there were six links there. We showed you the FISBOs, the residential, the commercial, there's businesses and there's other, a couple of others, but it's exclusive information. 75% of it is not on real estate boards. It surprised everybody when you hear it. Yes, I'll repeat. 75% of the commercial listings on ICI World are not on real estate boards. They are unique on ICI World. 50% approximately of the residential listings on ICI World are exclusive not on real estate boards. And it's the content that triggers the calls. Never forget that it's your content that's making money. That's why someday if somebody comes in with a better service than ours that's free, you might as well take advantage of it and go with that service because it's the content that triggers the calls. In our case, the reason we're charging 319 because we don't sell advertising on our service or even, you know, we're going to maybe try to make it a little bit better uh, so that we have more money to move this service forward and do more advertising for you. You know, when we do advertising in a newspaper and somebody comes to the service and they see your ad and give you a call, you go off and make $10,000 from that ad that we put on. Let's move on. 
there's the reasons why you're not getting leads, lack of listings, not structured, not traffic, and you're not promoting your website. Handshake's not up to date, so this is part of the checklist. We also have people, when they frame their listings, it takes them to a, a blank page that has all the information on it, but then people can see the URL. We're suggesting it should be framed within your website. Don't worry if you don't understand this, other than the fact that let us check your website for these reasons. <clears throat> Now there are a number of training videos here, and one of them is the video number 17 in the domain names, but I'm gonna go through that right now. In a domain name, we're recommending that everyone have three domain names. If you like, you can mark that down, three domain names. One of them should be a very, very simple name, such as your own name. <clears throat> and uh, uh, Nadia, for instance, who's online right now, has uh, the spelling of her last name is a little tricky, so she makes it NadiaP.com. And just to give you an example of her website, because she's online right now as well, and I've asked her before if I can show her website, and she said, fine, and we actually used it. Oh, Nadia, something is happening here on your website. What has happened here? Hang on, maybe I've got that. I know what's happened. Let me try a different browser, because <clears throat> I think I have done something there. Hang on. Let's see what has happened here. Nadia, what's happening? Can you come online? What's happening with your website? Uh, Hi, Gary. Uh, yeah. I know it should be up. Like, um, remember we had that whole... Yeah, um, yeah, we went through that whole issue. Okay, so we have an issue. I'm glad I found it. We're going to have to do, do something special today to get that site back. I don't know if you can call them on the other line while you're here with me and see if you can get it back. Uh, while we're doing that, just give point two a call because I know everything's looked after and it's supposed to be showing. It could be that, that okay. I will. I can do that. Okay, so if you can do that. Put us on um, mute and then yep. see if you can do that and come back when you're ready. Uh, thank you so much. Now we also have someone else that we just got a website started today, and we're going to bring that one online because we're going to do. Christine, are you able to come online, Christine? Christine, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Christine. So I think your website was uh, Christine Chen Two. Dot. Now we haven't got a domain name working for you yet. Th yes. Is your uh, point to agent dot com? Just one second, please. Okay, so this is Christine, who's online. Thank you, Christine, for letting me show your website now as well. And this is an example of Christine's website. And this is a design. Now, this construction stays here until her domain name is working, but we got this website working this morning. And you can see she's got residential, and the people want to search MLS. They can search MLS. Isn't that nice? Now, she has a website now. Hang on. I'm just going to save this other name here to go back to it. But your domain name that you have was CC, which stands for Christine Chen. And what yes. was the rest of it again? 8111. Which is the four digits of her phone number. So CC8111 is the short name that she gives to people for her domain name. That could be the short name. Instead of typing out Christine Chen, the people that know her will eventually do that. Now the reason this is not working is because we went to GoDaddy and we've just put that name, pointed that name to make it work and it's not working yet. So GoDaddy has to make it work. It's not working yet, but we're waiting. Any minute, it could actually be working. So that's the cutting edge that we are doing for Christine. But that name, CC8111, is sort of easy to remember for people. And that's almost like johnsmith.com or yourpersonalname.com. People, all your family, all your relatives, they know that. But as you and I know, if somebody are searching Richmond Hill, or properties like that, that's not going to find this website. So what we're going to do, we've got here, welcome to Remax Imperial Realty Inc., your source for GTA real estate. There's no Richmond Hill. Now, there's Markham here. Now, you're in Richmond Hill, Markham, and Vaughan. Are those the three communities that you work mostly, Christine? Uh, yes. Richmond Hill, Vaughan, and Markham. Are those the three where, is there anything I'm leaving out? Uh, you can add the Toronto. And Toronto. Okay, so Toronto is a little difficult to come up, but we're going to cover Toronto as well. But the key thing is you have a lot easier chance to come up 
Richmond Hill, Vaughan, and Markham, if we optimize those keywords, um, and we can put Toronto in there, but we want to make sure we get the other ones. And so what we're going to do, I think it's a browser, just go to Google and type in only www. Okay, so it looks like NadiaP.com, it looks like my it's my browser. Thank you, Nadia, and um, I appreciate that. Um, and maybe we'll come back to that if we have time. But right now, we're going to actually log in to Nadia's website. And I'm going to just go ahead and click on sign in. Oopsie daisy, we're actually going to be logging into our website. And so I'm going to go to a special incognito window and try to log in to Christine's website. Let's see if we can do that. And we do that by going down to the very bottom of the page, go to sign in. And I think it was Christine Chen12006. Is that correct, Christine? Uh, no, 2016. Oh, one, what is it? One, two. Christine Chen, 2016. Okay, 2016, like that. That's right, yeah. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, do you remember your password? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to give you control of my computer. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I want to give you the keyboard control of my computer and let you type your, uh, let me see, where the heck I should be able to allow keyboard and mouse control, and it's not doing that here. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to stop showing the screen for one moment, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get Christine's information um, on ICI World. It's the same password that you have on ICI World. Is that, Chris, is that correct, Christine? That's right, yes. Okay, so let's see if it works. I'm going to go get your password on ICI World, and I don't want the whole world to see it. That's why I blocked out the computer there. And uh, I'm going to grab the password there, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to try to log in and see if we get logged in here. Sign in, and I'm not getting in. Hang on. Oh. Let me try one more thing here. And I'm not getting in, Christine, oh. for some reason. Um, okay, are you logged into your computer on onto your website? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to switch the computer over to you. I think I'll do it that way. One moment. Let's go back. Can you please show your screen, uh, Christine? Thank you so much. And can I'm also going to request keyboard and mouse control. If you could say yes to that. Give keyboard and mouse control. Have you done that? Yes, I did. Okay, very good. All right. Now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it from here on in. I'm gonna go to the agent website. And this is an example. Now this can be done with every website in the world, what I'm about to show you people. And Christine's already kindly consented to me going in and doing some search engine optimization on her website today. And one of the things, of course, is a domain name. We're recommending that you have a domain name with the word real estate in it. So whatever your community is, if it's Vaughn, you should have a name, VaughnRealEstate.com. Now, you and I know that that's probably already taken. So you could have VaughnRealEstateInfo.com. Vaughn Real Estate for you, the number for the letter U.com. And there's all kinds of variations that you can do just a little bit, Vaughn Real Estate, so that when somebody searches Vaughn Real Estate on the internet in Google, because you have that in your domain name, that is the first thing of the big seven. Now, go back to the big seven on your pad of paper and write down domain name. That's the first thing you should have written down on the big seven. Write that down now on your pad of paper domain name because if you can have a name of what people are searching you have a better chance of coming up and don't just put the word real estate because you get anybody in the world going up and if you're paying per click you're paying for that and if they're not interested in your area you're wasting your money so anything that you're going to buy in terms of pay per click make sure that it has your area your geographic area and the word real estate in it and then you have a better chance of coming up. So now, because there is a way now to combine more than one area, and I might even do it with with um, Christine by having the name 
Now, you might think this name is a little long, but it's not to be given out to people. Richmond Hill Vaughn Markham Real Estate.com. I bet you nobody's got that name. But if you have Richmond Hill or Vaughn or, or Markham in your domain name and the word real estate and somebody searches it, because you've got it in your domain name, all of a sudden, Google is interested in your website. So I'm going to go up here and we're going to do something very, very special. This is the front page of Christine's website. I'm going to click on um, Edit Header. And you'll see it says, welcome for all your real estate needs. Now, we're going to just do something else just before that, so pardon me for that. I'm going to go back to the page settings. Sorry, page settings is what I really wanted. Page settings, this is the first page on your screen. And you should mark down this, page title, media description, and media keywords. So number one was domain name. Number two, page title. Number three, Meta, meta description, meta description, and number four, meta keywords. You should write all that down. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to remove some of this this stuff here, and we're going to put in Richmond Hill. Wait a minute. What's the biggest area? Is it Vaughn the biggest area? Yes. Uh, maybe we'll do Vaughn, Richmond, Hill, Markham, and Greater Toronto Area Real Estate. Let's try that. Can you see that up there? Yes. So we're going to optimize your website for these keywords, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to put them right at the beginning of the meta description. And I'm going to put it right at the beginning of the meta keywords. Bingo. So you now have all of this in those three items. So you now have the big four covered. Okay? Okay. And we're going to save that. So when people search those terms, they're more likely to maybe have your website come up in an organic fashion. That's, that means without having to go through pay-per-click. So now it's going to come up that way. Now the next thing, this is one of the things that cost $4,000 to learn. I'm going to go to this thing here that says edit content. And you're going to see that the content on the page, the very first sentence on the page that's highlighted, that's going to be number five. Call it down. First sentence highlighted. That's number five, people, to write that down. Brokerage for your source for, and I'm going to put it in here, Richmond Hill, Markham, and Greater Toronto Area. And maybe I'll put GTA because people are coming in from all over the world. And what I'm going to suggest you do is that all of this should be highlighted in bold. Bingo. You got that? Yes. So now, if there's two websites that come up when they first search maybe Vaughn Real Estate, your website comes up and other broker's website comes up, the next thing they're going to do is search the meta tags. And if you've got the meta tags, like the title and the keyword and the meta description, your website's going to come up instead of the other websites. But let's say that other websites have a domain name, they have a title, they have the meta tag, they have the meta description, but if they don't change the first sentence on the page and you do, your website's going to come up over the other brokers. Interesting, eh? Mm -hmm. So that is optimizing your website. Let's click on OK. So that's one of the things you can do. And now you can even have pages within your website that do the same thing. But that shows all the places that you're working. Now the other thing I would do with you, I would have a special button on your website under residential um, that you don't have yet. Christine? Yeah. You, you see how you have all of the GTA? Yes. I would make another button that has the Vaughn, Richmond Hill, and Markham Homes 
in a button all by itself. Okay. Okay, and that we can add right up here. This goes for Miami, Los Angeles, San Diego, goes for Atlanta, Georgia, it goes for Washington, it goes for all over the United States and Canada, what I'm doing here for Canada and all the provinces in, the US, in Canada and the United States. So all of these things can be really tailored for your market area. Okay, very good. So that's what we've got. All right, let's move on. So there's search engine optimization in a natural fashion to bring you up in the search engines in a natural way. Okay, hang on one second. Let me just close that. Are you still there? Yes. Okay, very good. All right, now I'm going to switch the computer back to me. Okay. And let me see how I can do this. There we are there. And you can mute yourself again. And okay. we'll go back to my computer. Thank you so much, Christine, for allowing us to do that. You're welcome. Okay, you are too. Alrighty. Now let's go back to uh, where we were here. And we've now covered these very important points about domain names. How to promote your website is a special video for members of ICI World that uh, go on. There's about there's several links there. Uh, and some great resources there that you can go into and follow up on for members of ICI World. And there they are there. There's YouTube videos. Now, by the way, a lot of our YouTube videos can be played on mobile devices. Just make sure you're using Wi-Fi, people, and that you're not going to be using your bandwidth to listen to these videos, or it can use up your bandwidth quite nicely. But if you're on Wi-Fi, you can listen to this stuff on your phone. There's even things that you can do with contacting customer care. They've got a, a manual there. And there's uh, the other thing you should do is call your own internet service provider and say, listen, I'm not getting them enough leads for my website. Is there anything you can help me with? Is there anything you can show me where then I can learn how to get more leads to my website? So call your own internet service provider. You should actually write that down. Call your own internet service provider. Do they have anything that they can suggest to you to learn how to get more traffic to your website. Now, a lot of these companies now today, they're not even fooling around with search engine optimization. They're getting right into pay-per-click. They're telling people, go to pay-per-click and start buying advertising from Google, $100, $200 a month, take out a three-month campaign, but some people are not getting results. Again, it's because they have some of these links that are not um, what I call closed links. Now, write that down. There's another lot of resources for you that I cannot cover because we've got to get through this uh, campaign here very shortly. We have 11 minutes left. But there it is, icrworld.com slash resources. Mark it down. There's a whole list of resources there for you. I'm not even going to show it to you in the essence of time. And But if you mark that down, you can go there on your own time and learn more about all of these things and how they can be helping you promote your website. I could spend a whole morning on just this item here. But today's session is to kind of give you a good solid overview and then maybe we can get into more specifics on other webinars and resources another time. There they are people, you can write these things down. You've already got the first five written down if you were sharp. But now there's the next ones. Let's go to number six. Number six, if you register your domain name for one year, or let's say you're on this seminar, with me right now, this webinar, and you register your name for 10 years, and if your website's the same as somebody else's website, and they only register it for one year, you have a better chance of coming up if you register a name for 10 years. The next thing, if you do not have a mobile website, and if you do have a mobile website, your mobile website will come up before somebody else's website that does not have a mobile website. And if you have links on your website that have the Facebook and the LinkedIn and the Twitter, your website will come up before other brokers that don't have the Facebook, the LinkedIn's, the Twitter's, the Google Pluses of the world. So having those social media on your website are, are important for search engine optimization. Great news, people. Here's your 75 bucks you'll see that there's pay-per-click. You can be to the top of the search engine for your search term for your area literally within 48 hours. 
So if you have a budget of 100 bucks a month, just ask Google for $75 free to open an account. There's your $75 I talked to you about at the beginning of the session. 75 bucks. All you have to do is ask Google for it for the first person joining. First time, you can get $75 free, and you can get pay-per-click set up for free. There's some references, but we're going to move right along. The point two people, you can get right into your point two website, and there's whole sections on how to market your website in point two for the ones that are on point two. Search engine optimization from Google in our executive member section on ICI World. There's a whole section in there on optimization from Google directly as well. But let's move on. What are other ways to promote your website? And the reasons why, there they are. Driving, your web, driving traffic to your website is very, very important. You let them know that you've got a lot of information on your website. Start handing more of your business cards. We're going to start winding down. This is a summary now that we're starting to go through. If they want more information, they just have to call you. Make sure that you have your website prominent. You know, when you put an ad in a newspaper for one property, why not put at the bottom of that, Please feel to visit our website for thousands of residential, exclusive, and MLS listings. Why don't you put that in every single ad that you put in a newspaper for one house, put that at the bottom of your ad, one extra line, and or two extra lines, whatever it takes. Let them know that you've got thousands of properties they can search, and let them know they can search it on their phone, and just give your website address. It'll automatically come up on their phone. And let them know, people, that your website has thousands of new listings coming in regularly, so they should, they should check back every week. Every week they should be checking, if not every day, for new listings coming on your website, because your website is a live, vibrant, up-to-the-minute listings, 50 to 100 new listings a day are coming on your website, so they should be checking your website literally every day if they're really looking for listings so they don't miss something and they get a jump on the competition. There they are. Tell them what they can do with it. Show them how they can subscribe and search and do all that kind of stuff and the resources you have on your website. Another way to promote your business, go to every single business downtown, your downtown business district, um, and go into every community, every shop there, because everybody lives in a home. Hand out your business card. Let them know you're the real estate person in the area. And I just thought I'd drop in and say hello and let you know we got a website that's got all these listings. Pull out your phone and show them how easy it is to search and how you got resources on there. Is there anything you can suggest to make my website even better? And they can make a couple of suggestions and you get them involved. Next thing you know, you got people interested in real estate in that particular shop owner. It doesn't matter whether it's a clothing shop or some marine sandwich place. Go into all of them and go talk to them. And next thing you know, you're, you're getting your website onto everybody's phones. You know the beautiful thing about it? It's permanently on their phones. Once they install it on their phones or, or got it added as a link on their phone, they always have it. It's always there. And when they're, they're browsing their phone, they can easily click on it any time. That's permanent. It sticks. You know, people have to have magnets on fridges, and you'd think of all these other things going on. Well, this, having the link right on their website, on their mobile phone, is fantastic. So you got to get that going. Um, in your ads and newspaper, we talked about that, how you can add a link to all of the content that's on your website. We've covered domain names and all of that good stuff on your phone. Um, of the, um, the, the, the other one that you should do, wait a minute, let me just go back here real quick. Pardon me for making this real fast, but I wanted to go through the rest of this. Having all of this on your website, the mobile and the social media up to number seven, make sure you've got all of this marked down, people. Okay. That was very important. The seven items to the top. Okay, the main names, we've covered that. We've talked about the meta tags. We've already did that. The big six, you've got it. The big seven. Um, Pay-per-click sponsor. That. The beautiful thing about the pay-per-click, if somebody searches a term and your website comes up, that's free. Your website can be coming up all the time. If nobody clicks on it, it's free. Only when somebody clicks on a link that goes to your website will your budget get charged anywhere from 10 cents to 50 cents to two bucks. It depends on how much you're bidding for each link. In smaller communities, it's smaller. You can sometimes get to the top of the search engine for every single person for 15 cents a click. And if you've got that available, you should be grabbing it. It's the cheapest way to get people. If somebody clicks on it and they use 15 cents of your budget, goes to your website, and they buy a home, and you make $10,000, 
it was worth it, even if it was 10 or 20 or 30 bucks a link when you think about it, if you're making sales. I said in the beginning, there's a way to measure it. Are you doing deals each month? Are you getting leads? If you're not getting the leads, it's not even worth 15 cents. But if you're getting the leads, you can step it up to 50 cents a buck. And the reason why you step it up is so that your website can come up and then make sure that good people are clicking on it because you're making your website relevant to the exact thing that they're searching and you go from there. So we're suggesting, yeah, you consider a budget of pay-per-click and try doing that for a three-month campaign. But after one month, if you're not getting leads, call us. Call ICI World. We would love to do a conference call with you and Google and just talk to them and say, listen, she wants to be able to make sure that she's getting links, make their words relevant to what you're doing. And then uh, that way, if somebody's specifically searching for a home, they should be calling you. If they're not calling you, there is something wrong. you got to find out what it is. And there's your $75 of free ads. All you have to do is mark this down, google.com slash ads. And that's how you can go there. They will give you a search tool of all the search terms that are going on and how many hundreds of thousands of people are clicking on various search terms. They also have an AdWords help, which you can go to on another time. But because we're, uh, we've got about five minutes left, we have to move on. Websites are like billboards. Yes, everybody can have more than one. And if you're triggering leads from all of them, why not? <laughs> Okay, so make sure uh, you can have more than one. You don't have, we support all websites in the world. You can have more than one website, and we support them all with the links that come in from ICI Will. Promote your website. All your emails that go out should have your website at the bottom in your signature file. Economic Development Agency, get your website listed. People from around the world and all the embassies of the world, they actually go to the embassy and they can search the uh, economic development offices of all these city halls in the area. And if you're listed under real estate in the city hall, which they'll do for free because they're trying to support all the businesses in your area, get yourself listed in your local city hall directories for real estate. This way you're building a real estate practice, not just chasing the almighty deal. Develop not only a fax multi-class, but an email multi-class that sends out a newsletter once a month with the latest happenings in your area, charitable, charitable events going on, some of the properties for sale, a links to certain of the listings that are on your website. And um, you can talk about some of the properties being sold and some of the things happening in real estate. And it becomes a nice newsletter. And you can send it out by email once a month. It's so easy. Maybe make it part of a blog. All the websites we supply have a blog. Maybe you haven't used them yet, but you can. They're more powerful than anybody thinks. They even have some same similar elements as a CRM, um, a contact relational management system for clients and customers to send out emails automatically to them. You send it up. You can even set it up to send out something to your customers every one, two, or three months automatically from your website. That takes a little upgraded website to do that, but it can be done. Websites from ICI World are free for one month, basically, and then after that, they are $1.99 per year at this time. They could be changed tomorrow, so this $199 is not etched in stone. You divide it by 12, it's $16.50. These websites do change in price from time to time, so you never know what could happen in the future. The nice thing about it, keep your domain name. Whatever you do, register them at GoDaddy or companies like it. And then even if you want to change a website for some reason, you ever want to get rid of a website someday, you can easily do it by simply pointing to a different domain, point your domain to a different website, and it stays in effect. You don't have to change your business cards, letterhead, signs, or anything else. Everybody's still got your website. Um, okay, email multicast. We just talked about that. Join a builder's association. Sit down at a table. Introduce yourself. Let them know you get a 300 pieces of development land on your website. Next thing you know, they pick up your card. You're getting a call. You're showing a development piece of property, and you're making $50,000. It can happen that fast. We've got stories to, to show you and to do that. To do that. <laughs> so it's very, very exciting. Join groups, network your website with lawyers and accountants and mortgage brokers. If you put uh, your mortgage broker's website on as a link on your resources, will they put your website as a link on their website? Those are the kind of things you can do. Magnetic signs on your car. Make sure it says mobile, too, so people can go to your website and search it. Make sure you've got all the social media and promote your website to everybody you know, all, all of your through. This is one of the number one things because you're talking to those people all the time, maybe even at a wedding. Let them know you've got a mobile website. They can put it on their phone. 
and they can search right away. And they're going to appreciate the, the sophistication of your website. Sitting on a mobile phone, they can search so much right from your website, and you've got a nice list of resources and everything else. Publicity and advertising, yep, if you can do it, do it. Invite everybody to visit the website. Study keywords, and you can do that with the Google pay-per-click. When you do that, they're going to help you with that, with a Google pay-per-click search tool that you can learn what's good things to kind of put in your media tags and keywords, etc. going forward. Don't try to trick the search engines. We've had some that did, and they got bounced right off. Didn't even appear right away. Don't do it. Finding keywords, uh, you'll find these keywords with the with Google. Linking to other sites and have them link back to you, very important. And uh, because ICI World is one of the largest services in the world, that automatically helps you get more um, prominence in the search engines as well. Link to your real estate boards and all these different services around the world. That's another reason to register yourself in the in the city halls of the world because those are links that come back to you too. And these are all reputable sources that have been on the internet for you know 10 years and more. In fact, ICI World has been on the internet since 1994. So that's really good. So our website was actually registered in 1994. That's another reason why it's highly respected throughout the internet as well. Major world websites, uh, link to them, reciprocal links that you can do with different kinds of companies. There's some samples. And we do have a 22 present minute presentation on domain names, although we've kind of covered that today already. And be careful with click fraud. There used to be a problem in the past, not anymore, where somebody would click on your pay-per-click link 100 times and use up your $100 budget. If it was a buck a click, bingo, your budget's gone. You wonder why you didn't get any links. It was because somebody else clicked and used up your budget just so they could get to the top. But there's a solution to that now. An IP address is registered on one click. So if somebody does it a second time, it doesn't register at Google. There was a major industry-wide uh, case on that that got solved. Here's our pledge. No member should go longer than 90 days without doing any business or deal, or at the very minimum, developing good business relationships with someone you feel will lead to doing business with someday. Otherwise, give us a call, and we will address it. We call it material defects. Traffic to a website is a material defect. There is other things, too. And if you're stuck longer than five or eight minutes trying to do anything with your membership, we recommend you write your questions down and make an appointment with us because time is money. You will get the $75 free. Actually, ask them for 100 because uh, it used to be 100 and I guess they cut it to 75 but try to get 100 Enter your business on Google Maps. It's also free. And get a hold of them. Google.com slash AdWords. Mark it down. Open up an account and get going with them. There will be a survey that will come to you either now or just a little bit later. We really appreciate your feedback for these services. We really appreciate more than you know. It helps us design these services kind of going forward for you as well. I will be closing this uh, session down and leaving our contact information on the screen. And um, there will be anybody listening to this, if you end up going to ICI World, if you use the code SAVE10, you can save 10% on joining ICI World just by using the code SAVE10. There's another saving for you. S-A-V-E-1-0, SAVE10, when you join ICI World and you can save 10% for joining ICI World. And I, okay, I think that's it. And that completes our session for today. I'm just going to come back to ICI World, to our main website here, and uh, go back to ICI World. And if you want to see sample websites, uh, click on Form Members. And if you go down the page just a tiny bit, you'll see for your website widgets of exclusion listings, and then there's the mobile websites with the races on, and when people click on that, you can click here to see samples. The nice thing about the samples that we have going that way, you can see commercial website samples, real estate by company samples. By the way, there's Nadia's website right there, a sample of it. Samples by geographic area, samples of other website hosting companies. All of this is on this page. And so you can samples by real estate company, and you'll see all the companies in the business we have samples of all these different kind of companies here, so you can pick the company that you're presently maybe working with or you want to see some samples of, and then you can click on any one of them and then just kind of click on it and then see what the samples kind of look like. And uh, if I was to click on, uh, let me see one of these here. This just gives you an example of a $16.50 website. You tell me if this isn't fantastic. 
you know, that's the kind of thing that you can do with websites. We'll finish with that. Again, Mary's got the residential up here. And she's got Richmond Hill, actually, in York Region already down here, too, as a link on her website. And she's also got the commercial up here as well. Kind of uh, designs can be nicely done for you. That completes our session for today. And I'll go right back to Einstein World up here. And we'll leave it on the Contact Us. And this is where we will finish our session for today if you wish to get a hold of us. There's all the information on the screen. Widget setup package, mobile website if you want to order them. And there's our telephone number. Simply make a 30-minute appointment, and we can get you going. That completes our session for today. Thanks, everyone, for the opportunity to be of service. And we really enjoy working with all of you. I will now be stopping the recording, but I'm going to stay online for questions and answers.